stay with his character. But we do that these days. Because there are a lot of Christians when we do during courtship. God, he tells them, open the door and go, oh, open the door for me. I will go and say, this is the only door for me again. There are a lot of characters, a lot of Christians, you know, who hide so many things from each other. But because marriage happens in a closed door for too long, we are able to sustain that personality threat. So what's the personality? The personality is a general opinion. What people can see about you, what people have experienced about you, what you know about me, carries the question. This is how she talks. But you want to know who I am really? Both my husband, my children, and my siblings. They are the ones that have to tell my, my character in their hands. So you don't know. So when you think God will talk to you there, once you get one marriage to a personality, but the first thing you need to say is character. So who then is character? What is character? Character is who you have when no one is watching. I repeat, character is who you have when no one is watching. You are naked before your husband. You are going to be naked before you. Nobody is watching. Just both of you. You are innocent. You are supposed to say as it is. No pretend anymore because you stay for too long. You can't sustain that personality trait again. So everything comes up. Say character is like you. When you put the new place, it says no. Through you, I see a man walks into the house with his shoes, with sand and everything, steps on the rock, goes to the beauty of the cleaner, put it in the wire, no big cleaner. Go to the toilet, he doesn't have a brush. That's the adjustment thing. But if you know the position you have there as a woman, if your husband is there with you, and your hands, then you tie your small bed. This is the point I tell a woman, tie your rubber, the journey and just be home. This is not the time to relax. Those dresses you used to wear, no, don't have that fit. What is this whole thing? This is such a good Access point, close down. I close this area. I close it. It's in your pants. Don't send them away. Because you send them away from the way to you. Close all access points. And your best day should tie your head. You're ready for the fight. This fight is your woman. Have you done? So this day you are right now. Like if you are not careful, the marriage will come to an end. Tell yourself, I am mar I am married to stay, not to go. My mom told you that I got married to you. I don't need your papa. One day, my ten children that I gave her to, I gave her to one man. You will not come at home. There's no room for you. Go and play the music and win. I won, so you can win. My mother told me that. And I had that in the back of my mind as I was going to get married. But you know what's going on right now? Baby mama. This hobby, I gave up. This is a table. Once the man gets the hobby, I gave up. You get up? All the people that are out, where are they? Where are they? Because I said, two smart people are not getting great people. Two smart people. And 99% is a woman that acts like a fool. Act like a fool. Tell them you don't know anything. At the end of the day, you turn back to people like you are not a fool. You just make no for peace to reign.
share the food. Let every woman cook when it comes to their tongue. Please. My mother said, You are children. I am married to this man because other women are married to me. I see it as my responsibility. Let I'm doing what I'm doing. No, that does not deserve a human impossible. But I do it because I'm submitted to God Almighty. I don't want to be hands, I don't want to be called upon. These people are not my possession. They are God's possession. When somebody wants on that day, they will ask you, these people are here for their possession. How did you do it? Because they hit you hard and you hit them so hard, then you are wrong. This is not for your children. Don't worry. When you grow up to the stage of getting married, you will know the meaning of what I am doing today. And when I grew up and I got married, I knew what my mommy was doing at that time. The picture was clear. And so I laughed. Even when my father was dying, my mother was the only woman of my dad's time. That is how, how, how caring my mom could be for a big problem. And she was the next time, problem. Which was just my dad. What is it? Say no. I am sorry. For everything I have done to you, I am sorry. But I cannot pay you because I'm dying right now. But I'm going to say something. If there's anything called certificate of good marriage, I'm going to give it to you and your children. That anywhere you go, you will buy something with certificate. That's the man dying. And she kept my husband praying for my mother and he died. But my fear and my annoyance and my anger as for that time. Why do we have to realize it as a time there? Why do we have to so appreciate what? A tap on the back of a woman. She can say, I will finish and give to you and say you will keep the chain. I need to get out. I guess well done. Well done. That is all a woman needs. So you have become very emotional when I talk about this. Because we person has to so many to them. We need to pass on that. No money? Well done. That's a all. My father did not do it. He did it and he died in bed. Find a good. But today, you can watch picture. Today, this key and lucky woman, I want you to see that whatever you do today, never go unrewarded. Never ever. If you play your role. Please, can you bring my mom to the So, no matter what you're going through today, your children are watching. No matter how your brother will treat you. Forget the pretense that you come and clean your eyes after you stop the video. When you see your children, you, know, you clean your eyes and nothing's happening. They are watching. They can see. They know. And when they stand on their feet, they will not show with you. They will take you. Because you took care of them. They knew the pain that the struggles you went through. You did not neglect them. My mom didn't leave us. Even after my father's death, 25 years after, my mom remained like that. I am married to my children. I want to be with them. And she tells us, if you want to buy the type, you the type of paper, that's your problem. But it's something I ask for you, all my children. And that's the thing that's more important. I want to say, I want one of you. I want to see my children in God's kingdom when they are born. So clean these two hands. Clean your own one of the wife. Irrespective of how your husband treat you, know that you're not working for your husband. Know that you're working for God Almighty. So when you look that thing, you have that confidence. And what else is the me? When a woman has a child, she never, she never, never alone. You know, because it's your children are watching. The other day I saw Charlie before I came out and said, Men, let me not say for you. Because this week the children are going to train and finish. They will begin to go to train their mama. They carry their go, go. And I said, This is the thing for you. They will go to you. Then I asked, Do you know what it takes for a woman to carry a child for nine months? The psychological trauma, the pain, the labor room. She brings this child and she you take care of the child. You cannot imagine it. Some people are over the top. They know. Some people are very small at all ages. They know that the woman can do six things at the same time. She's asking the call, somebody food, she's cleaning the bumper of the child. She has all the same. What has given us this strength, this power to move on. So will you have that marriage to distract you from the main important thing which is salvation? Because your husband was treated you and you gave it back into him? You gave him the taste of his own medicine? No, no, your children are watching. They will contact. God Almighty will pay. Your children, no, help me. They will pay. So no matter what you're going through right now, sister, calm down. You are not doing it for them. Because some of them don't, you might be possible, they don't deserve it. But you are doing it for God. So when you have this mindset, it pulls you, it makes you move forward. It makes me move forward. This is my mother. This is my mother's. Yes, but 
mom was very skinny. You can't even look at her. But today she's in the United States of America. And she wouldn't say that, oh, woman, relax. You are paying the price. Relax. So no matter what, all these numbers, my dear, don't ever give up on yourself. Because the one thing you can do to yourself is to give up on your marriage and give up on yourself. You keep fighting and fighting. So submission is key. The woman told her, I want to have to call you know, at the wife. I said, I don't want to go to church or with one car. I don't want these two cars. I don't have too many cars in the house. But I want just one car. Let's feel this family, you know, whatever your family. And the woman said, What? She said, I do my table. And the other say, said, Please wait for me. And the other said, Look, I'll wait for you all the time. Don't worry. We'll go together one time. He told the man was waiting. The woman said, What? So they came. And he was supposed to go to church. The woman just went to the bathroom, signed close to the sign. He's like, Everyone will die away and all that. I got on the east, she took her car and go home. After all the makeup, you know, she came up. Where's the car key? Where's the car key? There's no car key, so it was fun and go with the car. And you know what she did? When the people came back, she ended up poor. She locked that door for two, three months to get her husband. I want to find the entire world. The way we are wired is not the way these men are wired. So if you take chances, you break out that point. The devil will help you and take a seat and you will never need again. You must shut the door, shut the emotion, physically, emotionally, towards your husband, he knocks at your door and say, go out, don't ever knock my door again. Go out. And I'm telling you the story. This is the life story that a woman, a woman called into a program and will say this story. And he is like this. So she was advising, you know, hopefully it will be the same mistake as she did. She shut the door. And you know what happened? The man went to the white house and then for the school, school day, they used to be lots of things. They say, oh, fire, and then they like to fight. Oh. It doesn't mean anything. Just freaking through. Wow, oh, give that to the wall. And that's all. 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 And why she be expensive in this day for that matter? She won't sleep with the other and then pray for the patient to come your way. Because she won't touch on him. You wouldn't even know. And this man and I thought that so heartless, you don't want to know if you're married or not. So it's just a phone call. And if they discover the loophole in your house, something your husband could not feel, they will go and replace your husband. That thing that I've been lacking, maybe you need somebody to talk to all the time. You need somebody to give you the listen. They will put their ears for you when you go out and you begin to talk to them. And rather you begin to exchange for more of them. Your emotions are beginning to begin to chop your emotions for your husband or knowing for you. Before you know it, the heart has been dropped. And who they suffer? That woman is suffer. The woman has been uh, receiving the end. That she said we do, we don't go for free. But as a woman, I never go for free. So it starts that way. So you have to be extremely careful of what you do. Be extremely careful. When you see, no matter what you're going through today, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. That's what I that's what, that's what it said. So let's go quickly to the next one. And let's go back with the power of communication. To me, there are two types of communication. The barber and the non barber. And you know the one that's more important? 93% is the non barber. 7% is the words we use. This is what we're saying that the words we use is not important. But so what you should pay the more attention to in order to send the very wrong message to the receiver is watch out for the non-verbal communication. What's the non-verbal communication? And what is the verbal communication? Fact. Who the first one? Hello, Apache. Oh, you still walking? Oh, it's pretty good in the I make food for you. I make food for you. Oh, well, you know the time right now. No, the I can just go by right now. You just try it and I know my combo and this one is for your voice is too to have. Oh you know what? I'm trying to go I'm coming on it. Yes, yeah. Then the next one goes. How about you? Now your papa walk. Then we try it all. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I see the problem. Don't close this door. We'll lock you for outside. I see you sleep outside now, you know about the cost is for outside. Tell me. It's too safe. Safe. Man. The man cannot see you. 
from your tone of your voice, your facial expression, your body language, everything that you put into that conversation, into that phone call, I've already seen that demand. Like he's on fire right now. So it's a two different thing. So you need to watch your body language, your high water, facial expression, your tone. Because sometimes you can stand the wrong finger. I call it the dog to the thing. You meant well. You want to advise your husband? I tell women, you want to advise your husband? Fine, there's nothing wrong. I didn't tell you to be submissive when you become a fool. No. The things, the decision your husband wants to take, that my room, you know, that my room is in the house because your husband, anything happens, you will follow. And you have to sit there and watch the kind of things happen. Yes, fine. The men make the final decision. But you as a woman, also have a role to play. Right then. That's why we are so consistent. But the way you say it is more important in this case. The way you say it, go back to your husband. I know. Send us for the husband's law. Hey, but that thing is really no. I know that I don't support the same thing, my opinion, or many cancer. But sometimes the wife wants also be submissive and supportive to the husband. No, no. This is showing your back today. Why don't you also look at it in your own way?
Then I like to show you. He went into a two-year-old child, then he had a The man was a very dead. Ever, ever. You never fought, you never fought for you. No. So if you look at them, this masculine nation, he wants you to be open even in that place. That's what you give to that child. He wants it. So I said, I told my sister, when he was passing a match, and I was still very dead.
no matter what you're doing, go back and open the door and do it myself. I'm not just minding where to cast my myself. In my husband was saying to me, I'm sewing, I pray the attraction is lying in your face, and give them their pain and don't take it back and all day. If it's going out, I said, all day. Initially, it was not easy. Because he was not used to that. But I introduced him to him. Because anytime my husband calls me before he goes, I have the sense of belonging. That this man is still my husband. I hope you just push it like feel. Even when it goes out, this say this thing that's in my head. All this talk you come back before the day the But if you're not between it, not as in a hurry, then you will. If you're not between it, that's most fun in it. So if you don't go to your miracle one day, and I say they go out and talk. You go push your thing on you. It will put you away. So what's going to do this? You know what this is that I talk to And I just talk to me now. Now my husband, if I look quick, my husband looks for me. Even when I'm very busy, she's not behind me to work with. They be annoying. You know, because I've already learned the foundation. So even if he, he, he goes out that way, he doesn't feel like a complete man. So always open up with your husband, always hold him and take your bath, smell good. Some of us will carry the ball for three months to wash. We enter bed, the first thing we put here is our mouth. It's just the way. They are human. They won't put spare. They put it back in your head. They don't want to get bed. Bad is, they're talking about big now. You want to pass, you want to change your look. You put it in that nobody knows. Wash your hair, leave it. Put on your roll on your tent, you're going to sleep with your husband. That's what my mother told you. It's proper like your neck. And you have to. That's because we know my mother wants to go to my father's house. It's proper that. The one with the error of the table, like the one with the one with the Yes, you must have that time at their age. They were able to, to do that. So, what are you doing? What's that beautiful nice place? Nice place is not a place. Invest in it. Dress well for your husband. My husband was in the baby. You know why he was in the baby? The day he went to a seminar, the one who was like, why do you call her a baby? He said, because well, that woman that I married like 16 years ago, she's still a woman I see right now. My squad is in God. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.